Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this new video. So this is the last video guys for uh, fourth sem uh, biology for AC engineers. In that I have already covered four videos. Where in those four videos I have discussed the some important uh, questions from all the four modules along with some important concepts. So this is the fifth video where we are going to discuss with the last final module that is module five. Here also the same thing I am having some important set of questions that is around ten questions. So if you study these questions, any one or two of them would be definitely they would be asking for the exams. Okay. So let us get to the questions now one by one. So the first question is what is bioimaging and discuss the process and applications of bioimaging. Okay. So this one question they would be asking. Next one, discuss the applications of artificial intelligence in the diagnosis of disease. Third one, what is biomining? Explain the various processes involved in biomining. Fourth one, write short notes on electronic nose, electric tongue and self-healing bioconcrete. In this electric tongue is very important. Okay, so they, they might be asking this question. Fifth one, explain the mechanism and bioengineering solutions for muscular dystrophy and osteoporosis. Okay. Sixth one, what is bioprinting? Discuss the process and applications of bioprinting. Mention about bioprinting techniques and materials. Okay, so this one question also they might be asking. Seventh one, what is DNA origami and biocomputing? Explain the process of DNA origami. Eighth one, what is bioremediation? Explain the various types of bioremediation. Next one, write a short note on bioleaching and nanomedicine. So I guess this they won't be asking it. Okay. Tenth one. Write a short note on 3D printing of here. So this question is very important. Okay. Tenth one is very important. Write a short note on 3D printing of ear, bone, skin and 3D printed foods. So these are the set of important questions. So now let us get to some concepts from module 5 which would be appearing for the exams. The name of the module is trends in bioengineering. Okay. In that we are having bioprinting techniques. So these are the some of the important bioprinting techniques mentioned here. One is 3D scanning, 3D design, bioink synthesis, 3D bioprinting process, maturation and application. Okay. So this is the complete schematic representation of this 3D bioprinting process. So this is the bioprinting concept here. Then comparison between 3D printer and bioprinter. So this one table they have mentioned. So I guess they might be asking this as well comparison between 3d printing and bioprinting in that some aspects we have under that aspects the differences they have mentioned it okay next bioprinting materials under that we have hydrogels then we have cell laden aggregates then decellularized extracellular matrix then synthetic polymer based bio inks composite bio inks then most commonly used bioprinting techniques okay some of the bioprinting techniques are inkjet based bioprinting then uh, extrusion based bioprinting so for each of them they have given one figures you see here then laser assisted bioprinting microvalve based bioprinting then this is these are some of the basic steps of the bioprinting process that is first is preparation of the bio ink then design of the tissue structure printing incubation and assessment okay so these are the steps involved in the bioprinting process next is 3d printing of here so this is again very important so they might be asking this question so 3d printing of here so the materials used in this uh, 3d printing are one is hydrogels biocompatible polymers then scaffolds cell embedded materials ceramics etc okay so these are some of the technological importance of 3D printing of human ear that is personalized ear prosthetics. Then we have faster production and lower costs, biocompatibility, bio medical education. Then this is about 3D printing of bones. So this I guess they won't be asking. Then scaffold based techniques in 3D printing of bone. Next is 3D printing of skin. Okay, so this is very important. They might be asking this. Okay, 3D printing of skin. These are the steps involved in the 3D printing of skin. That is preparation of bio ink, design of the tissue structure, printing, incubation and assessment. Then materials used are hydrogels, polymers, cell laden hydrogels, scaffolds, 
and many other things. So these are the importance of 3D printed uh, skin. Then next is 3D printed foods. This is one sample image of a 3D printed food item here you could see here. Materials used are edible pastes, edible gels, edible powders. Some examples of 3D printed food are sweet and savory snacks, pastries, decorative garnishes, etc. And these are some of the importance that is customization and personalization, novelty and creativity, enhanced food safety, supply chain efficiency, sustainable food production, food innovation and research, etc. Next is electrical tongue. Okay, so this is very, very important, guys. So this you need to be studying. Okay, electrical tongue. Uh, this is one simple human tongue, okay, where the taste bud sections you see here bitter, sour, salty, and sweet. Okay, so the taste buds are simply the, the senses of uh, the tongue which is mentioned, where we have different senses, different sense of tastes available. Okay, then taste receptor cells, taste porous, binding of taste compounds, neural signals, taste processing in the brain, taste perception. Okay, so these are some of the different parameters for this human tongue, but under electrical tongue. It is simply based on the technology of the human tongue only, okay, which is used in food science to analyze the taste and flavor of food and beverages. So the technology behind electrical tongue is sensor array used in electric tongue applications and potentiometric ion selective electrodes, voltammetric sensors, impedance sensors, optical sensors, conductometric sensors and many more, okay. So this is the difference between uh, human tongue and electronic tongue. So this also they might be asking. So this beautifully they are mentioned in this table here. Okay. The differences between human tongue and electronic tongue and uh, based on the aspects they have uh, differentiated it. Okay. So just go through this table. Advantages, limitations. Then we have electrical nose. So this they won't be asking. Electric nose is uh, not so important. Then what is pending here? Biocomputing. Biocomputing is very important. Also, also this they won't be asking. Biocomputing they would be definitely asking. Advantages, limitations, everything is mentioned. So yeah, that's all guys. I guess some uh, these things are not so important ones. Yeah, there, there are no other things left. So till page number 30, you should be studying, okay? So till electric tongue in this notes, uh, electric nose is not required till electric tongue. If you study, it is well and good. Okay. Uh, so if you uh, don't study other parts, so other parts are not so important. Okay. So that's all for the video guys. I've discussed all the five modules, important questions and some important concepts which would be arriving in the exams. So please consider these videos. Please uh, like the video guys. Your like would be very, very essential and please share these videos because as exams are approaching near. So your one like and one share would be really uh, helpful for us. Okay. So please do support us like share, subscribe to our channel, keep supporting and keep update, be updated for the upcoming videos of EMT control systems and many other subjects of fourth step. Okay. So that's all guys. Thank you.